by the sea that'll warm up uh, both young and old fans. Ellen Taylor is live from the aquarium. Hi there. Hey, good morning, Bill. So when we were at the aquarium for Halloween, so back in October, I had heard about this Hanu by the sea thing and I was like, we got to come back. And how perfect is it to have a little taste of Hawaii here in the Pacific Northwest during what has been one of the coldest weeks of the year, even though the year is only two weeks long into it, but whatever. So I got Andy here from the Seattle Aquarium. Let's talk a little bit about what we got here, what we have going on this weekend, and then also you guys sent some of your staff to Hawaii and then traded them for some people from Hawaii and brought them here. What the heck is happening this weekend? Well, we've got a lot of things going on this weekend. So uh, you can see right behind me, we've got uh, one of our uh, exhibits, our only in Hawaii exhibit. So we have uh, uh, fish and corals that are found only in the Hawaiian Islands. They look like they're just so warm. How, what's the temperature in there? Well, the water temperature in there right now is about 78 degrees. Can so, I jump in? <laughs> well, well, this one's a little small for either one of us to get into, but we do have a larger tank that uh, we've got scuba divers getting into on a daily basis. Yes, and so that's part of the things that people can see also this weekend. We're at, I mean, costumes, performances, we'll show you a preview of that coming up later this morning. But, you know, why is it important for us to send our resources to Hawaii? Like, what are we researching? How are we helping our planet? Well, we've got a, a research program that the Seattle Aquarium has been involved in for the last 11 years. Yeah. Uh, we've got staff in Hawaii actually uh, right now. Uh, the, we've got a, a lucky uh, four people that are in the water and diving. They're counting fish, looking at uh, fish populations, kind of sure. the, de the density and the diversity of reef fish uh, on the Big Island in Hawaii. You know, uh, I get this every time I go to, say, a zoo or an aquarium, and people sometimes are watching and are like, oh my gosh, will you please let these fish live out in their natural habitat? What do you say to those people? Because I know that you guys are doing hard work here, right? Um, what do you say to those people that are like, oh my gosh, just let them be free? Well, you know, we do a lot of work with these animals here, and I think that their, their most important role is uh, as an ambassador for, uh, for those fish that are living out there in Hawaii in their right. natural environment. We are working to protect those animals as well. Uh, but what we are all about here at the aquarium is conservation and education. Yes. And as we can bring families and people down to experience these animals, right. uh, have uh, firsthand uh, interactions with them, they get to know about the animals in the wild, the right. things that are threatening them, and, and that's what we are doing to, to work to protect them. And Andy brings up a really good point, because again at the end of the day going to Hawaii is really expensive getting to actually use these flippers in the Pacific Ocean can be expensive but this is a way for you to come down bring your kids and actually get them face to face with these animals so then that way if they decide they've got a passion for saving the planet um, they understand and they're able to see it's a it's attainable for them so again just like Andy said using these animals as ambassador animals is how they help spread the word and compassion and kindness and you can check all all of this out coming up this weekend. So they've got a, a Broadway style show, Hanu by the Sea. We're going to be previewing that costumes. It will make you forget about all the cold that is outside and make you feel like you're in Hawaii inside. So we're going to show you that more later on this morning. For right now, Bill, I'm going to send it back you know, on to you. Just, just hearing you describe it, I feel like I, I took a little mental vacation to somewhere tropical and amazing. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Ellen, we'll check back with you. Still ahead this morning, the AFC and NFC championship.